Hi, this is Aiden with another episode of Geography Fun with some space geography. Today we're talking about the moon. Are you ready for the longest lunar eclipse in nearly 600 years? This eclipse will last more than six hours. It will start on Thursday night, November 18, after bedtime, after midnight, when it's actually Friday early morning. It is 1 a.m. on the East Coast, and that's 10 p.m. on the West Coast, and it will last until 7 a.m. on the East Coast. The peak will be at 4 a.m. on the East Coast. You can see the eclipse from anywhere in the world. When it's nighttime, then it's going to be amazing. The moon will be dark and red when Earth shadows cover the moon. The eclipse happens when the Earth moves in between the sun and the moon, and the Earth casts a shadow onto the moon. In a total eclipse, the moon will look red because the only way that hits the moon is from our atmosphere, but it looks red, just like during sunrise and sunset when the sky looks red. Did you know there's no way of seeing the back side of the moon from Earth? We only ever see one side of the moon from Earth, the same side of the moon that we always see from Earth. The moon rotates in a synchronous rotation with Earth. Some people call the other side of the moon the dark side of the moon, but it's not always dark. Sometimes the dark side of the moon is full of light when it faces the sun. When we look at the moon, the dark spots are called the volcanic maria. There's also water on the moon that was delivered there by comets. Look at the moon, it's almost the same size as the sun, even though it's 400 times smaller than the sun. And that's because it's 400 times closer to us than the sun. It's amazing how those ratios are the same. Our solar system is really amazing. I hope you enjoy the lunar eclipse. See you next time.